Hey y'all, it's Ike with Big Tex Outdoors. I appreciate you watching. So, Nick here, he uh, sent me his Glock 17C slide and he wants to replace the crappy Glock factory sights with some uh, some other ones. These are Frank Proctor's. Uh, if you don't know who Frank Proctor is, look him up. He's kind of a big deal. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to make a little video here and show you uh, how I go ahead and, uh, and put them on. Uh, Nick, uh, sorry I didn't get to it over the weekend, uh, but I was actually taking a class from Sage Dynamics, so that kind of took precedent over this. But anyways, uh, we'll go ahead go ahead to the bench and uh, take a look at it and uh, see how it's done. Now there's not a whole lot to it. I'm going to be using the side pusher today, but you can also just as easily put this uh, this uh, slide in a vise and hammer it out and hammer the new one in. It's not going to be as precise and you're going to have to play with it a little bit, but it can be done. Uh, I do recommend, however, using a, a, an actual tool uh, that was designed to do this, and I'll be using the Montgomery or the Maryland uh, Gunworks Sight Pro uh, Sight Pusher. This is a very expensive tool, and I have a whole review of it on my channel, but uh, it's not really made for your kind of... Uh, just average gun owners, more for like armorers, gunsmiths, uh, people who are actually ma making money off of it. But anyway, check out my video on it, and uh, you'll see how it works and everything. Basically, I'm just going to tighten tighten that down. It'll what it does is sucks that slide down to it. I'm gonna tighten these four things right here, and uh, on the side, it's going to be applying pressure. Uh, just keep it from wobbling around at all. And lastly, I'll tighten this down here on top, just to keep it, make sure everything stays in place. Take it one more time, make sure it's all snug. Cool, we're good to go. Now all I'm gonna do is just turn this. That's just gonna push out, drift out that uh, that rear sight, as you can see. And we'll just crank on it for a little bit. And it's slowly drifting it out. So you can see you can get very precise with this when you're putting the, the new one back in. And uh, there, now it's out. Uh, next, on these sides here, they have, uh, they should have a, yeah, they have, oh, two screws. Okay. They have two screws here on the rear, like that. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take these completely out, and I'll explain why here in just a minute, but I'll just take them out for now. These are just set screws just to make sure it stays in place. It'll be drifted in. It's going to have some pressure on it. It's going to be a little bit of a, uh, of a tight fit, but these set screws will just make absolutely sure that nothing, uh, that this, these sides don't move at all. So I'm going to take this top off real quick. We'll set the, the, uh, the side in and we'll come back. Okay, so now I have it kind of staged right there. I just took this off, put it back on, and now we're good to go. Now we're just going to turn it the other way, and it'll start drifting that rear sight back in. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, now I've got the uh, the rear sight here centered in the uh, in the rear of the slide, and uh, we're good to go on that. Next, what I'll go ahead and do is work on the front side. You make this little tool here. Uh, you can buy one from Glock uh, for like twenty bucks or something. I found this on Amazon for like like five dollars or something. It's just a three sixteenth inch uh, hex hex screw uh, hex, dri hex driver, and then all you have to do is just uh, well, there's a nut in there, uh, that bolt. So I'll just put it on, unscrew it. A couple turns and uh, it'll come out. And we just pop that front side out, put it over there. Get this other one, the uh, the new front side, and it's just, it's just going to go back in the same way the old one came out. Pretty much, there's really no difference to it. Uh, it's just screwing a, uh, a bolt in. One thing I will do before I go ahead and put this on is I'm, I just want to get a little bit of Loctite in there uh, so it gets on the threads and uh, it's kind of hard to get it on these little tiny threads here so I'll just go ahead and put it into the side itself and then it'll work its way onto the side and then I'll wipe off the excess here in a minute. Um, trickiest part is going to be keeping this nut in the driver. Okay, now we got the front side in, the back side, the rear side in. Uh, now remember those two screws that we took out of here earlier? Uh, those are going to come back into play now. I'm just going to put a 
drop a lot loctite in each one of those holes in the back just to make sure that they don't back out on us i mean it, we'll get them down pretty tight and they shouldn't but just to be absolutely sure that it doesn't back out and uh end up falling out on us so let's go ahead and install those real quick And a second. All right, now we're pretty much done with these. Uh, only thing left is going to be to put the fiber optic rod in there, and uh, it's not that hard to do. Basically, what I'll do is I'll just feed it through one end like this. Be all good look at it, feed it through like that. Get it about as long as I want. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to uh, heat up this end here and then I'll pull it through and it'll kind of bulb up the end right here. Because if you look at it right now, it's not that big of a uh, of a dot that you're seeing. I don't know if you all can really make that out, but the dot isn't that big. And uh, you'll see how much it grows here in a second. So I'm just gonna heat it up and then I'll pull this rod here. All right, so I pull it tight, and now you can see, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but that dot looks much bigger. It kind of bulbs up and fills up that entire void right there. Next, what we'll do is uh, you can use really anything. I just use fingernail clippers. They, uh, they're effective, and they, they, just, they just plain work. Cut it pretty close to where you want it, uh, almost, almost all the way. So there's only a little bit of material left right there. And now we're just going to do the same thing we did on the other end here. Just kind of heat it up. And now it kind of shriveled up back and it's going to uh, stay in place. You can see it's not going to be um, falling out or anything. So that's pretty much it. This is actually my ideal side picture here. I run Warren Tacticals, but blacked out rear, red fed fiber optic front side. Excellent setup. Well, there you have it. It's pretty straightforward, not a lot to it, but that's how you put some sights on a Glock slide. Um, if you could, please check us out on Facebook and also our website, bigtechsoutdoors.com. Uh, we got EDC gear, holsters, knives, lights, all kinds of stuff. But uh, anyways, check us out there if you could. Um, that's about all I got for you today. I'm about to go shoot the crap out of this. Uh, Nick said I could, so I'm going to throw this slide here on my Glock 17 frame, and I'm going to go try out these sights and uh, shoot the crap out of this gun here. But uh, anyways, that's all I got for you today. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, I hear with Big Tech's Outdoors, and in the words of Thomas Jefferson, I prefer dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery.